Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna talk about how to use the Taskade mobile application and I'll guide you through it. So first off, we head to our uh, store, our Apple store right here. And then you'll have to search for Taskade AI Productivity application, then you install it. So we're gonna open the application and then you'll be uh, shown this prompt right here where you'll have to log in or you'll have to sign up for the application itself. So the first thing you have to do here is sign up. So I will sign up myself and I'll be right back. So as you can see here guys I have successfully signed up. So it's either you can use your Google account or your Apple account too. So here we're going to start on how to create a project. So you can create a project for just about anything and keep track of tasks. Start a DIY project or collaborate and communicate with your team on the same page. So the first thing you'll have to do is tap the plus button right here. And then you'll be shown here. So select black project right there. And then type a name for your project once it pops up. So give it a name. So let's just say project number one. And there you go. So here you can enter your new first task. So you can organize your task. You can tap the A button right here. And then you can also tap the indent arrow, which is right here. Wait, let me show you guys. I can't really find it as the moment, but we'll skip that for now. So you tap the indent arrow, which is left or right on the toolbar to indent and out then data tasks. So once you swipe the toolbar left, you can see it just, uh, if you can see the indent option, break down the larger task into subtasks so that um, this helps you focus and GTD. So next is fold and then fold. And then also next is if you like to cross task off, you would like to use a pen and paper by tapping on the checkbox or the double tick icon like here. And there you go. So you can also select the text highlight the bold to italicize or underline your task. So this is the bold. Just italicize and just underline your task right there. So uh, you can also manage tasks here. So you just again tap on the plus button. And then right there, there's also AI assistance and other things like that. So there's templates here like a weekly planner, a bullet journal and personal tracker and teamwork list. So you can set a due for each task or assign a user to each task. And you can also add comments and discuss projects in real time. So this can be sent to another user where you can collaborate it on one time. So just tap a task and choose the icon right there. So we'll just try to do that right now. So try to look for a template right here. So let's just do this one, digital bullet template. And as you can see there, you can do some goals. There's task one. And then let's just create that one. And here you can add some users that you want. So you can invite to your project and you can copy the link and send it to people. So there you go, guys. So you can also, as I can said, you can link and task projects and you can use the mention when you have invited people right here. So you can do the at right here and mention people or you can also do the hashtag and then uh, feature to link users and other tasks and other projects together so this can help you build a second brain with your team so next is sharing your projects like i've showed you you can copy link it right here so again here you just invite people copy link and send it to the people that you'll need to send this to so and using templates like I've shown you a while ago, you can browse templates and reuse custom templates when starting a new project. So all custom templates are shared with team members invited to the workplace or the folder itself. There's a lot to choose from from the template chooser right here. Oh uh, wait. Uh let's create oh that's create a template. My bad guys. So browse templates guys and then there you go so there's such things like weekly tasks team review checklist meeting notes mind map to-do list student assignment tracker event planners you can also do chat gpt prompts mind map generator and other things like that which is pretty useful for everyday living if you want team management you can do it here 
So there's new hire onboard checklist and other things like that. So there's a lot you can choose from in case you are really lazy to do one yourself. So let's talk about some desktop versus mobile features. So on the mobile, some features are not supported right here. So you'll have to log into the desktop or browser to access the features such as slash commands, project views, uh, natural due dates or NLP, or keyboard shortcuts and drag icon menu formatting, reactions, embedded media, and some advanced settings too. So there's also offline mode for our iOS and Android devices. As key needs to have an active internet connection to you to be used, any changes will be ma made offline that will be saved locally on the app will resync when there's a established internet connection. So this is like Google Sheets or Google Docs. So there's also more resources to help you on how to learn on Taskade. So you can create a workspace for your team projects, create a folder for further organization, and other things like that. There you can also search across projects, folders, and workspaces if you're trying to look for something within those elements. So you can also add tasks and projects to shared calendars. So let's try to do a calendar right here. There's like a weekly planner. Let's wait for it to load up. And then there's also things like syncing your calendar with other apps through calendar integrations. And you can also work faster with the keyboard shortcuts in the computer version of Taskade. So as you can see here, there's goals. There's Monday, Tuesday, and you can also minimize and maximize this. So you just type in your goals right here for the weekly planner to get started. So if you have any questions or suggestions, you can visit their website at blog.taskade.com. And for Taskade updates, you can go to their website, taskade.com. And you can also contact them and follow them on Twitter. So those are just the things that you can do basically on Taskade. So basically here, as you can see, Taskade mobile application is designed to provide users with the flexibility to manage tasks, projects, and collaborative work on the go. So the app is available both for iOS and Android devices, and also offers a range of features to help individuals and teams stay organized and productive. So, so what are the key features here? Well, like I have mentioned a while ago, like the task and project management, it's pretty good. So Taskade allows users to create tasks, do lists, and projects you can organize to your task into different categories, set due dates, and prioritize them as needed. There's also real-time collaboration right here, like I've shown you a while ago, like adding people so that you have to work on them together. And also the weekly planner, as you can see here, there's a progress bar in the circle, as you can see right there. So you can see your progress as you have uh, check box them and things like that you can also see the, the task button right here uh, in the templates right there you can see that you have accomplished zero and there's two templates that you have done so like i said the customizable workspace also taskade allows you to create different workspaces for viable purposes such as work created projects personal to-do lists or specific team in, in initiatives so there's also a reminder and notification. Taskade offers reminders and notifications to help you remember important tasks and deadlines. So you should enable your notifications for Taskade for this to work. So as you can see here, you can just go to your notifications and you can on it right there. See, uh, you can do mobile notification or watch or ignore. You can also do email notifications if there's a mention or not or you can choose to ignore it there's also the offline access like i mentioned a while ago so in situations where you don't have internet connection taskade allows you to work offline and then once you have established another connection your task management with other apps that you have used also it will integrate to taskade so the next one is integration you can use taskade with other popular tools and platforms allowing you to connect your task management with other apps that you use. So remember that this software application can evolve rapidly, so I recommend visiting Taskade's official website or checking the app stores for the most up-to-date information and features and capabilities of Taskade. So that is the Taskade mobile application, so I'm gonna end this video right here, and thank you for watching this video. See you again next time.